Um, hello, so today we are going to do this problem, maximum sum of, uh, of an hourglass, which is part of um, uh, this week's contest, 313. Um, so the first problem says that, uh, sorry, this is the second problem, uh, but it says that we have an m by n uh, integer matrix grid, um, and we define an hourglass as um, this portion of a matrix. So basically the first, a row at the top, a row at the bottom, and then a center um, cell. And what we want is to return the maximum sum of the, the hourglass with the maximum sum among all the hourglasses possible in the matrix. So if you take a look at this um, example that we have here, what are the possible hourglasses? Well, uh, this one here is one, right? Uh, by the way, an hourglass is um, one with the time, the the one the glass one with where the time where the there is sand and sand flows here, and that basically calculates the time, right? So that's one. Another one we have is this one here with this cell and then these three elements, right? That's also another sorry these three three elements here, um, and then another one also that we can find is the one with eight being the center and with these here. So you can get the idea, it's the three top cell, center one, and then three bottom ones. Um, same thing with this one with the center two as well, and three up to here, that's also an hourglass. Um, right, so you get the idea of what, what these are. Um, and if we take a look at this example here, uh, the one with the maximum um, sum is this one here. Um, yeah, so that's the... So that's the main idea here. Um, and if we take a look at this last example, there is only one hourglass, and so we return that one. Um, yeah, so let's see how we can solve this. Um, okay, so let's see how we can solve this. So um, one thing to see here is that um, if we take a look at this here, the, the solution is actually pretty straightforward because if we take this cell here as ij, then what is this value here? This is just i minus 1j, and this is i minus 1j minus 1, right? The position, because it's the previous column in the previous row. And this is i minus j, but the next column, so j plus 1. And this is the next row, so i plus 1j um, plus 1. And this is the next row, but the same column, and this is the next row, and then the previous column. Um, and so we could just go through the possible centers of the hourglass, compute the sum of, of the hourglass with that uh, cell being the center, and to do that we can just go calculate the three in the top row, and then the three in the bottom row, and then add the center cell, and we'll get the sum, and we can compare it with the max so far. Um, and that's pretty much it. The only thing we need to be careful of, we need to pick only valid center cells, right? We, you can't pick the, this one as a center cell because there is no, nothing on top. So, and you can't pick either this one because there is nothing on the left. You can't pick this one because there is nothing on the right. So we just need to make sure that the pick the center cell as just the the ones that are that have i bigger than zero, right? So e bigger or equal to one, the row, because it can be the top row, and it can be the bottom row. You can't have the center cell be here, so we need it to be also smaller than the number of rows, minus one. Um, and then for j, the columns, you can't... Um, so we can't have it be the uh, first column, so we need this also to be bigger or equal to one. And same thing, we can't have it be the last column, so we need this to be smaller than the number of columns minus one. Um, and then uh, the rest is just calculating the sum, so pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, so let's, let's, do, let's do this solution then um, and make sure it passes test cases. Um, okay, so the first thing we need to do is um, just get the sizes, right? So the number of rows, which is just the length of the grid, uh, and the number of columns, which is just the length of the first row in the grid. And this is possible because um, the size is, uh, the minimum size is three, right? So we can do that. Um, and now we want to iterate through the centers and we'd have the best sum here, which is equal to zero. 
Um, and then we want to go through all the possible. So this would be basically, we want to iterate over possible hourglasses centers, right? And uh, what we said in the overview is that the center needs to be between one and the rows minus one because it can be the first row and it can be the last row, right? And similar thing, it can be the first column and it can be the last column. So we need it to be from one to columns minus one. Basically, since the last column is columns minus one, in Python, this would end at columns minus two. So just the, the column before the last one and a similar thing for the row, right? Um, and now we can just say the best sum is equal to the max of the best sum and whatever is the sum of the hourglass that has a center of i and j, right? Um, and then we return that best sum. Return best sum. And now we need to define our function that calculates the sum here using the formula that we said in the overview. So this would be the center cell. Um, so i j here would represent uh, our glass center cell. What this would mean is that the sum is just the sum of the top row, which we said is just i minus 1, so the previous row, and the previous column, so that's the one to the left. Um, well, or actually, we can just do the sum of the... So it's the first row, right? Um, what are the the values? Well, it's just from j minus 1 to j plus 1, right? So it's j minus 1, j, and j plus 1. So to get those, we just do here j plus 2 so that it ends at j plus 1 in Python. Um, and then we want to add the center cell, right? And then we want to add the, la the bottom uh, row, right? And so the bottom row is i plus 1, j minus 1, i plus 1, j, i plus 1, j plus 1, right? And so what that would mean is basically is the sum for i plus 1, but we want to take only from j minus 1 to j plus 1, similar to here. So it's the exact same boundaries, right? Um, and that's pretty much it. That's the sum of this hourglass with this center. And this will take us take only the three top ones, the center one, and the three bottom ones. Um, and this would need to be outside. And so we can run this. and submit and that passes test cases um, now in terms of time complexity this is um, we have this loop right and this one is basically o of three uh, o of three so this one is constant and so it's just these two which is basically o of rows by columns multiplied by columns right and this would be like a time in terms of space, we are just using this extra variable, so nothing really. Um, so over one space. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this problem. Uh, please like and subscribe, and see you on the next one. Bye.